Spreadsheets have another powerful descriptive analysis tool called pivot tables. Pivot tables summarize complete data sets without you having to write formulae, create new columns, or arrange your data in any particular way. They enable you to combine data in ways that reveal the relationships that exist in the data and show it to you in a new light. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? But I'm not kidding. Most people find pivot tables to be one of the most useful life-changing tools to learn, so let's get started. Let's leave the World Bank dataset behind and take a look at the sample dataset about the selection of snacks on my kitchen shelf. It has data about their main ingredient, their quantity, and their risk to my health. Let's select all the data. With the data now selected, choose Data, Pivot Table Report. It will create a new sheet. On the right, you'll see you can add rows, columns, values, and filters. If you click on Add Field, you'll see the column he headings from the sample data. Let's pivot them. That is, turn a column into a row. Click on Add Field next to Rows and select Snack. You'll see that a column has appeared in your new sheet that lists the type of snack. So what's happened to this data? In the original data, Biscuit is mentioned three times. The pivot table shows it only once. Sandwich is mentioned twice. And again, the pivot table only shows it once, and so forth. The pivot table has grouped and summarized the data in the snack column of your raw data set. It answers the question of what different types of snack are included in the data. You can add more row fields. Let's add the field ingredients to the row. What's happened this time? In the same way as before, the pivot table has also grouped and summarized the data about ingredients. The great thing about this is that it has grouped the data about the ingredients to show them for each type of snack. We can turn this around to give another view from the perspective of the ingredient, not the treat. To do this, swap the order of the row fields by dragging and dropping them. And now, you'll see the data about snacks is grouped according to the ingredients. OK, so you've got the basic idea. Let's try and summarize some numbers using the pivot table. Say we wanted to know how many of each type of snack we have in total. Remove the ingredients field by clicking on the X in the right hand corner. Next to values, click add field and select quantity. You'll see the quantity of each summarized next to each snack, snack type. This is a lot quicker than manually counting them. Under the values field, you'll see a drop down that says summarize by. This tells the pivot table how you would like to count the values. The default is sum. This means it adds up all the values to give a grand total of all biscuits, for example. What if we wanted to know how many types of biscuit we have, not the grand total of all biscuits? Change the summarize by to counter. This counts the number of cells with any values in them, whether it be numbers, text, or anything else. Now you'll see your pivot table is showing the number of the different types of snacks. If you use the count function, it would only show the number of cells with actual numbers in them and ignore text or anything else. In this example, it makes no difference as there are only numeric values in the quantity column. You'll notice that there are a variety of methods for summarizing data. Play around and see what they do. We can also add columns to get more detail. Say we wanted to know how many types of cake are a high health risk. Next to columns, click Add Field and then select Risk to Health. You'll see that a column appears for each health risk category. Because our values show the count of the quantity, it shows us how many of each type of snack fall into each health risk category. Looking at this, we can see that there are two types of high risk cakes. If we change the summarized by back to sum for the values, we can see the total number of high, low, and medium health risk biscuits that we have. Pivot tables are extremely useful and you'll probably end up using them a lot, so experiment with adding different fields and see what you can discover about what's on my kitchen shelf, just for practice.